Controller, no fang on the trigger unless you're gonna use the gun. Remember that. What kind of round do you have? 45 HDP. What kind of round do you have? 380. What about now? 762 by 39. Mr. Grace, what is the asset? Something that puts money in your pocket. What is a liability? Something that takes money out of your pocket. Name two assets in this house. Gun and jewelry. Who is Nat Turner? An African American slave who led a rebellion of slaves in South Anthony, Virginia, August 21st, 1831. That resulted in 51 white deaths. What is the 13th Amendment? To the United States Constitution about slavery and involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for a crime. In Congress, it was passed by the Senate on April 8, 1864, and by the House on January 31st, 1865. But if you had to tell one of your eight year old friends what it is, what would you tell them? It's a legal replacement for slavery. And if I die today, what's your job? To pick up where you left off and take care of our sisters. Good job. You good. Lock it in. Eating seven hours in a building full of strangers and travel. You almost had like 19 hours gone in a day. There is no way that we can logically think that we are child biggest influencer when he spent another he spent seven hours with a total stranger a day and we get him for maybe four if we're not busy doing homework or cooking. A lot of parents don't really understand that they're more of a guardian than an actual teacher or parent. You house them, you clothe them, but it's somebody else that give them all the game, all the wisdom. How old are you? Five years old. You ever been to school or daycare? No. All right, if I took something for five dollars and I wanted to flip it for ten, what is that? Upsides. If daddy died right now, I want you to name me two things that y'all can create generational wealth with that's in my house. Curriculum and books. I'm one of those people that perform well under pressure. Mm -hmm. And that was, the, that was the pressure I needed because at this point I got 29 facial tattoos. I can't work at McDonald's. Tell them about your sister's favorite garment. Tell them about garment. A Jamaican political leader. I'm a mentor, uh, homeschool instructor, full time father, and an entrepreneur as well. A Pan Africanism movement. Most dangerous species out, if you ask me. Those ones that can, can gather both the streets and the books. But again, just tell y'all, consistency is key. Vending machine was 170, 167. The lemonade stand was ninety dollars. But uh, I know on the average I don't drink, but I think Hennessy is around nine dollars a shot. Anybody know? Around nine dollars? Alright, so do y'all understand in the course of a year, if you've taken ten shots, you made enough money to invest in your babies so they can have some type of residual income by their next birthday. We're, 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 we're living in the place of victimization, but we always want to point the finger. We all agree there's only one thing certain in life. Only one thing promised. Y'all know what it is? It's death, right? Okay, so with that understanding, you guys should already subconsciously understand I'm gonna die. That's okay, I've accepted that. I cannot control. Stop stressing things you can't control. What you can control is what you do from birth until death. Your departure is the inevitable. It's gonna happen. We need to start focusing on the things we can't correct. You want a rebel? Stop being so reliant, outdated entity to take care of you. Listen, y'all, and I want y'all to listen clear. You cannot hate these chains and help build them up Monday through Friday. I'm gonna say it one more time. You cannot hate these chains and help build them up Monday through Friday. I don't know if it's tradition, I don't know if it's parenting. Somebody has convinced us to believe that we need other people to live fruitful lives. The only person that can stop you. Me. What are four things that stop us from being successful? Ego, pride, selfishness, and complacency. What are we gonna demand our whole lives? Ownership, equity, and leverage. And I think the time is more important than ever that we get individual perspective and a fact-based perspective on the world around us. So many of us are running around with uh, running around with regurgitated information. What is the main source of your entertainment? For most people, it's television and social media. Uh, I then ask them, what is the main source of your education? For most people, it's the school system. Third question is, what is what, what is your main source of food or your intake? Excuse me, in the mirror and say that they know themselves when everything that they embody has been created by a whole nother entity that's probably 500 years older than their oldest grandmother. In my opinion, cre creation, one, is, is going to lead you to control. And then control is going to lead you to power. 
I try to tell people all the time, you gotta zero in on your power. Uh, you gotta channel your efforts. I know countless street dudes that have $100,000 under the mattress, but they don't know how to legitimize that money. They don't understand that uh, if you if, if, if you were able to able to seed your corner and put four of your partners in position, you have characteristics of a manager of a boss. If you woke up every day and you looked at your dose and you made sure it was lined up properly, you know how to run inventory. If you know how to take two ounces of dope and turn it to six, you have the locking names of a, of, of, of a chemist or a scientist. So, uh, man, from corporate America to the streets, to, to the love life, all these worlds are parallel. Everybody is vying to get a mass amount of attention and to be the man, the top dog, no matter what. As well. Real is responsibility. Uh, Real is raising your children. Real is ownership. Standing behind that wall for 30 years don't make you real. Staying out here for 70 and laying the foundation for your family makes you real. That's real. I got to channel the aggression. I've been you. I got the paperwork to show it. I used to love that Glock 27 more than I love myself. We got to break that mentality. Look at this room. All this power in here. All these soldiers. We still ain't figured out how to stop our grandmas from getting gentrified in these neighborhoods. We still ain't ended poverty in our neighborhood. We're still dealing with food oppression. It's 100 chicken spots and McDonald's up the whole block. But the only thing we can figure out how to do is how to destroy each other. Forever, but again, willful ignorance is no excuse, man. We got to stop. Do y'all realize we kill for everything except what's purposeful? It, it, the ideal is not to stay in the hood. The ideal is to get out the hood. Do y'all, do y'all, are we understanding what evolution is? If my great grandma lived in the hood and my grandma lived in the hood and my mama, that's not evolution. Somebody got to get out of here. Especially the urban communities when it comes to their food. It's called food oppression. What is that? The target marketing of impoverished low income and burdened areas with non healthy food and low nutrition. Miss Grace, what are you? A goddess. What's the goal to be? Independent. What's going to be to grow up? A boss. But in order to do that, you got to do what? Create stuff. If you lost everything today, what you got tomorrow? Electric property. And what is intellectual property? You can take your possessions, but they can't take your mind. And just an example, like, I'm sure all of us have been in the store with our mother at one time, and she's like, man, this was $2 back in my day. A lot of times, being young people, we just laugh it off, and we overlook, you know, the seriousness of inflation, that people don't really understand $100,000 in 2016 is going to have the buying power of $55,000 in 2036. People don't understand that the cost of living is rising at such a high rate that essentially you're going to age and get older and have to work harder, which is totally backwards. So, like I said, I'm just big on self-love, self-awareness, self-reliance, and self-education. It's, it's, it's so many of us out here making, uh, making long-term and permanent decisions based off a temporary situation. Uh, and like I said, man, I, I, I'm a firm believer that the male ego is one of the most fragile things in the world. Even in my shooting situation, I realized how much ego and pride played in that. To it or? Honestly, man, I don't think it's a like a government law enforcement type stoppage. I think these stoppage is going to come with uh, when we start to learn, you know, self value. And I, I, I try to address all my brothers and sisters, r regardless of their, their ethnicity as a king or a queen. I think a lot of us truly don't know what we derive from. A lot of us don't know how great we are. Uh, I want to believe that, that, that we're born into this world as gods. It is the, the, you know, the earthly things that are, that are given to us, the knowledge, the food, things of that nature that dilute our potential and, you know, and uh, dilute, you know, just how great we are and how great we can be. But I think, man, I, I really believe knowledge of self. Man, that's why I'm so big on my unlearn and relearn. I, I really need my brothers to know where they derive from. I need them to know how great they can be. I need them to know how vital they are, how, how important they are to mankind. Uh, Man, just, just, it's, it's, it's a whole lot of us living for nothing. It's a, it's a whole lot of us living, you know, non-purposeful lives. But I think if we're able to, you know, instill those, those elements back into ourselves, then we'll think twice before killing each other. Uh, you know, but, uh, bosses don't go outside and roll around in the dirt and fist fight. They don't get their hands dirty. Gods don't. Kings don't. Things of that nature. So I believe when we truly start to adapt those you know those ideologies we will treat ourselves and our, our, and our children to be dependent ideas. on us until 16 and independent on another stranger until 70. Uh, life is about evolution every day our nails grow our hair grow and our grass does as well our mentalities has to do the same thing 
what my family and I are essentially proposing is simply a three generation wipeout. I'm pretty much unlearning the information, the tradition, the conditions and indoctrination of nearly 90 to 150 years of supposed history. Uh, I'm 100% confident we have the solutions, the answers, and the intangible workings to rewrite not only the current generation, but breed a whole new, whole new uh, type of type of seed for the uh, for the future generations. I've done my due diligence, I've done my research, and I came with a ton of solutions. But I assure you all, my family and I cannot do this alone.